The St. Mary's River is the connection between two of the largest bodies of fresh water on the planet. It holds great significance today, as it has for millennia for the local Anishinaabe. Its waters still run clear despite sharing the area with industry and so-called human progress. Sometimes it's just not feasible for us to load the canoe onto the car and drive out of the city after a long day and find a remote river or lake to paddle on. But this stretch of water is right here, a five minute portage from our deck. And it's an underused paddling destination in our opinion. When the world gets to be too much, when things are overwhelming and not completely making sense, it's nice to have a place to find some sort of respite. We're lucky enough to have such a place in our own backyard. Here we can find peace, quiet and stillness, while the world rushes along, just a short distance away. After only a short 15 minute paddle downstream, you start to feel like you're less in a city and more in the backcountry, and our worries start to fall away. The shorelines become less urban and more natural. You almost forget you're only a few hundred meters from your house, and a few hundred more to City Hall. When we find our minds getting stuck ruminating on something or worrying about something more than necessary, sometimes a new perspective is all we need. For us, paddling on the river gives us the opportunity to see our city from an entirely new angle, a new perspective. Waterfront like this is so magical to share as a community, even if it's shared with much larger traffic. And then when the shadows grow long and the day comes to an end, we make our way back home. But the river continues to flow right on by as it has for 8,000 years. And that helps us maintain perspective. 